Hurst. One, two, three, one, two. All right, shitheads. I promised to do my plate care review. Here we have it. This is the HRT L back system. So, down and dirty breakdown. On the inside, I don't know if you can see here too well, but this is the back portion. Here's a, these are the top reasons why I recommend this carrier. As you can see on this back portion, the exoskeleton and the cummerbund are separate from the back panel. What this does is it flexes with you, allows you to move, twist around, and I'll show you when I actually toss this thing on, and have the carrier flex with you instead of against you. So you're not fighting your carrier and you're not, more importantly, shifting protection away from where you need it to different parts. It stays with you, it stays where it needs to be in order to protect you. Um, as you can see on the front panel down here, the internal adjustments for shoulder straps. Um, there's internal adjustments here on the back for height, for getting it right. And then of course, your adjustments in the cummerbund itself for the width. I got a few extra pounds on this, so I up it a little bit, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, the tube section. I love these tubes. They're a bit of a pain in the ass to put on uh, once you have the carrier on actually locking them. However, that's not a big deal. I don't get the tube system to be able to get it on quickly. I get it to take it off quickly because that's what it's for. You know, somebody gets hit, they have some trauma, you gotta work on them. You're not having to lift the flap, undo the Velcro cummerbunds, pull it off. This hit the two side tubes, two shoulders, literally walk out of it. So if somebody has to do first aid or trauma work on you, uh, you lazy and you just want to take it off and not worry about pulling it over your head, wouldn't recommend doing that. Or, you know, you're in a boat, you get in the water, you can't swim, you're drowning because your plates are heavy as shit, hit those tubes it's just for quick take off. Um, the padding on this is top notch. This channel here on the back allows airflow really well on the back. And that's always the worst for me is my back gets hotter than anything else with plate carriers on. Um, wish they did a little bit of padding up front, but again, too much padding uh, makes it a little bulky, cumbersome, awkward. So really not that big of a deal. Uh, feature this plate carrier. You can see here the uh, Tigris Cummerbund. I absolutely love that. Uh, you'll see when I have it on, it adds a level of rigidity and support to the carrier to where it's almost like having an exoskeleton plate carrier system that supports itself. So that's not one point of contact distributing the weight. So it's not digging into your shoulders, tugging on you, visible to wear. Um, between the padding and the support, it's a very, very comfortable plate carrier to wear. Uh, panels, it's got the buckle system to run different placards. I'm running HRT's Maximus placard because in my opinion, this is the perfect setup. Uh, it's simple, three rifle mags, two pistol mags, two GP pouches. Uh, I can pop this off, put it on an H harness and have a recce style uh, chest rig or have it on here. I can have different ones configured for different mission specifics. The internals of the uh, triple mag pouch are elastic and Velcro backed so they can be swapped out for 308 heavy uh, or for sub guns. So no matter what you're running, you can configure this for mission specific. Um, it does have two mag pouches here on either side of the cummerbund. You know, if I was going in a situation where I need every mag I can get, I'd use it past that. It's not really a comfortable area to draw a magazine from. Uh, it's a little awkward, so I pass up, but it's nice to have it. Um, again, too, with the back portion, you can see the zippers here. Uh, it allows for back panels as well. I have not decided what back panel I want, but this does have the ability to do the back panels. So maybe one day I'll pick that out. Um, as you can see, it's got a little bit of molly here on top. I don't really have any use for that because this is all I'm gonna run on it. I'm probably not gonna put anything, maybe a radio pouch on the side. Past that, that's it for this carrier. Uh, putting it on, it is, extremely comfortable. 
get it where I want it, get the tubes. Like I said, it's a little awkward and cumbersome to get the tubes on, but not overly too bad. Just got to maneuver. So, fitment, as you can see, I finally got this adjusted to where I need it. Ride height is good. These plates are showback uh, 4S 17s. So 7.2, 7.4 pounds each. Doesn't bother me. This plate carrier is very well distributing the weight. Extremely comfortable. I love where it sits. Uh, you know, I added this dangler system from Agilite. I still have no problem reaching a gun belt when I have it on. No clearance issues at all. Uh, if I wanted to run this slick, I could pop the panel off, run it slick, or I could add to it again. Got the setup to run the back panel. Maximus placard. This is how I run my setup. Uh, I'll continue running, especially these extended uh, Glock 19 mags with the uh, shield arms base pads. I really like these. A little bit of color twists, but having that higher capacity of, you know, 20 rounds with one in the chamber is nice. Three rifle, and then for those of you who haven't seen my battle belt review, then in my battle belt, I have two additional pistol pouches, one additional rifle. I'll probably add one more rifle. So that'll give me, you know, six rifle and five pistol total, um, including what's in the gun. That, in my opinion, is a solid loadout. So there you have it guys, HRT L-Back plate carrier with the HRT Maximus placard and the Agilite dangler pouch that I picked up from one of our guys. Uh, everything but the dangler pouch is available on shop.tacticalshit.com. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, Facebook. We got our Instagram back. And we've got our YouTube channel where this will be going along with all our other reviews. I'm having all my guys do their plate carry review, show their setup, same with battle belts, and then we're gonna finish it with helmets. And then we're going to do some content of us actually putting in some training and some work with our kit on. I'll probably be smoked, but I'm gonna do it nonetheless. So stay tuned for lots more content. We're going to, I promise, become more regular, more consistent with shit you actually care about. We're still gonna inject the funny shit, don't get me wrong. But we need to start doing stuff you care about. Gear reviews, product reviews, stuff that every guy out there who watches this channel needs. Plate carriers, belts, um, you know, training shoes, tactical boots, um, stuff like this Victos Cool Vent Combat Shirt. I absolutely love this for wearing a plate carrier. Um, it's it's top notch, especially their uh, their range pants I've got, their war-torn pants, phenomenal gear. Lots of reviews like that. Everything from apparel to gear to night vision to rifle setups. You know, that's probably what we'll finish with is our rifle setups, our pistol setups. Like, comment, smash that subscribe button. Leave us a few comments of what you think and what you want to see us review next. Stay tuned for consistent quality content, shitheads. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Train hard, stay dangerous.